This is a whole muscle. The muscle is made up of many fascicles. Fascicles are made up of sev several myofibers. One myofiber is made up of several myofibrils. Myofibers are surrounded by a cell membrane called the sarcolemma. <laughs> Underlying the sarcolemma is the sarcoplasmic reticulum. In a relaxed muscle cell, the sarcoplasmic reticulum stores calcium ions. Muscle contractions begin when the action potential arrives at the synaptic knob. Calcium channels in the membrane open, allowing calcium to move within the cell. Increased calcium causes the synaptic vesicles filled with acetylcholine to fuse with the membrane. Acetylcholine is released from the synaptic knob by exocytosis into the synapse. Acetylcholine is then picked up by acetylcholine receptors on the motor end plate of the skeletal muscle. Sodium potassium channels open, allowing sodium ions to enter the muscle fiber and potassium ions to enter the synapse. Acetylcholine esterase then floods in, breaking down the acetylcholine, sending just choline back to the axon. As previously depicted, the influx of positive sodium ions into the muscle cell initiates an action potential on the sarcolemma. This action potential travels down the sarcolemma into T tubules, which carries the action potential deep into the muscle cell to every sarcomere. The T-tubule runs between the terminal cisternae of the sarcoplasmic reticulum, which stores and releases calcium ions, represented by blue sprinkles. Once an action potential is received, voltage-sensitive receptors trigger calcium ion release into the cytosol. Let's take a closer look at a sarcomere the smallest contractile unit of a muscle fiber. Sarcomeres consist of an orderly arrangement of thick or myosin filaments represented by the red licorice and thin or actin filaments represented by the blue frosting. Muscle fibers consist of alternating A and I bands giving it its striped or striated appearance. The central thick filaments extend the entire length of the A band. The I band consists of thin filaments only. The H zone consists of thick filaments only. The M line in the center consists of thick filaments linked by accessory proteins represented by the green frosting. The thin filaments are anchored by the Z disc represented by the green candy straws. The myofilaments are connected to the sarcolemma at the Z-discs and M-lines. When calcium is released, it binds to the troponin complex on the thin filament represented by the orange tic tacs, which changes shape, removing tropomyosin and exposing the active actin site. The high energy myosin head, represented by the red gumdrop, then attaches to the exposed active actin sites, forming a cross bridge. The myosin head pivots to the low energy state, releasing ADP and moving the thin filament over the thick filament toward the center of the sarcomere. Mitochondria are organelles which produce the ATP necessary to power the myosin head. ATP is represented by the starbursts 
and the white marshmallows represent the phosphate group. ATP binds to the myosin head, causing the head to break free from the active sites on the actin. The myosin head becomes energized as ATP is converted to ADP. Calcium is then pumped back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum and attached to calcequestrin, represented by the rainbow sprinkles. This allows tropomyosin to once again cover the active sites on the thin filament, resulting in relaxation of the muscle.